Erev Tov, I'm Stephen Benoon. You're watching Israeli News Live. Kind of looking at the, the situation going on in the United States right now as far as Jeb Bush entering in the presidential campaign for the Republican nomination. Something that has probably caught a lot of people by surprise because Jeb Bush has always said that he would not run for president of the United States. But now he has actually entered. And I would say he has probably the strongest chance of being the Republican nominee. But then we look across the board at the Democratic side that is running, and of course Hillary Clinton seeming to be one of the strongest choices on the Democratic side, but there's a lot of contenders there that is going to give her a run for the money. But as I looked at the names here, as far as Clinton and Bush, it reminds us going back to 1992 when then President Bush was running against Bill Clinton and of course Ross Perot, which everybody remembers the great Texan millionaire that bought his way into politics. But the one thing that has concerned me as I look at the elections and the campaigns, and many of the Democratic candidates have already been bashing Vladimir Putin, saying what they would do if they were in the saddle here. They would ride out into the, the West here and confront the, the great enemy, the great bear of the East. Well, needless to say, it's kind of absurd the way that they have been portraying President Vladimir Putin. I guess we forget that the real aggressor here in the Ukraine crisis was not Russia. It was actually the United States that toppled a perfectly democratic government. Now, I can't say that Ukraine was a good democratic government, but nonetheless, it was working on the basis of democracy, corrupt as it may be. But then again, it seems like in every election, in every democracy around the world, it is full of corruption, bribes, and everything else, including the United States. But the United States did have a hand in helping topple the legitimate government at the time. And now that legitimate government, so-called legitimate government, the Kremlin has put on the spot and asked them straight out, do they consider themselves to be the true legal successor of the former uh, government of, U of Ukraine? Therefore, ma making them own up to the debt that they actually owe. It doesn't look like there's going to be any response to the Kremlin's charge there. But going back to the campaign, looking at the different candidates that have taken their punches against Vladimir Putin and, of course, their punches against Obama, saying he's not doing the job that he should do, that they would be stronger in facing Vladimir Putin straight on and deal with this problem that the United States faces. I don't really think that Vladimir Putin is a threat to the United States as much as the United States is a threat to their own people. But nonetheless, to my surprise, Jeb Bush also took his own jab at the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin, saying that Russians would be better off being a part of Europe. And that what they needed to do was to deal with the rogue regime that had been elected in, or that was in power in Russia. It's quite clear, just as Israel faces an entire world against them, even Russia faces every politician from both sides against Russia as well. Whatever happened to, to, to diplomacy, whatever happened to these particular people running for office instead of trying to be so bold like their cowboys about trying to find a good diplomatic way to end the contention and end the, the standoff between the Soviet Union and the United States and to bring back trade, as no, trade relations as, as the way they should be to re-establish the European Union's trade uh, relationships with Russia. What is it that the United States really is trying to do? Or are they just trying to be the cowboy for the Roman Catholic Pope? Hard to say. We just have to see which way this election goes. But from what it looks like right now, we may see Bush and Clinton at it again only many years later. I'm Stephen Benoon with Israeli News Live. Shalom. Thank you.